All right, let me get my secret weapon. This is a really aggressive, uh, like, scrubber made by 3M. Well, I haven't actually used it before, so it'll be interesting to see what this bad boy can do. But it looks like it removes everything. This would get rid of a horrible X. That's in the metal, it's really good. Well. Is this, are you like prepping for Bondo? Yes, but I need to also need to sand all this stuff. For those of you who had a question about the glazing, this is the glazing for the door, or for the window door these things come off all the way like that. So it's a removable, it's really handy. Very dirty. Sure sticks better after you wash the oil off though. Okay, so now we can use the water a little more liberally. That's the way it is. This batch might be a little hot. Why did it get hard so fast? I mixed it hot because oh. I was mixing so much. I wasn't sure like you could see it's darker than the handle here. Oh. So if it's darker than the handle, then that's a hot batch. It's going to set faster. Yeah. Try not to mix this one quite as hot. three hopefully the final batch it's the final batch now I don't word <laughs> oh man ah, I made it so hot Oh, it already rubberized. Man, that was super fast. Very, very fast. Damn He's it. up on the red sauce, baby. I didn't mean to. I don't have much left. Go easy on the red sauce. Get ready to do it fast. I know. Okay, so. One and a half inches puts us on this thing. I might have to weld it in here. Oh, really? Strangely, yes. So the idea is to put a piece of angle iron right here. I got some for this right here that will go and then up and then we can rivet it or screw it to this. And then it, it blocks everything off. That blocks the whole outside from coming in the bus and seals it. I think that's the way to do it. This door here is not flat. That's what we would like it to be. So I need to be on it. 
you're a bus feeder. Not flat it is. <clears throat> it's not that bad. Flat is boring. I mean, hey, come on, the world's not flat. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> well, let's just do it and see what happens. If I need to bang out some more, I'll bang out some more. Safety? We're halfway there. Three quarters, two oh. thirds. Two thirds of the way there. It could be anywhere. There it is. I'm a professional finder. All right. This should be awesome, or it could be horrible. One way or the other, we're about to find out. Enough? Yeah, I can move the welder to this, but I couldn't move it all the way around. Oh, you know what? I need my magnets. Yeah, what's going on? have to grind a little bit of this out. See this, this right here is gonna bolt or do something with this right here. And uh, so it'll interface with this, but that blocks the air from getting through here and that just seals the bus. So now we're creating the frame that'll have uh, a very weatherproof and, and uh, hopefully like air, so air doesn't move through. It'll make this a very, very, weather sealed door and quiet while we're driving yeah, quiet while we're driving like it should be like a car door quiet hopefully if we do this good yeah you're right that would have been easier before welding on that bar yeah once we get the angle iron tacked into place on here we only need like three little welds it's not really supporting anything then we're going to drill from this side and put some rivets in it. And Hi. that will make it a part of this and this. And then we move on. Ooh. What? Is it going to work? Yeah, oh yeah, it's going to work. Oh. It's an interesting fit. What do you have to do? Is it weird? You know, one part's a little bit in further than the other. And that's okay. I, I just, like you never know with this bus what's gonna be right and wrong. Just never know. So now, now it's, we have a frame there. No more gap. Yeah, no more air leaking. So if we drill from the top and put a couple rivets in it then it'll pull the thing shut and that will completely secure the whole thing the question is where are the rivets could be anywhere i'm a professional finder god that's a hard drill okay another rivet please Next up is Mike's rendition of Cry Me a Rivet. <laughs> awesome. That one did really well. God, that's a hard one. Yeah, the cool thing is, is the Hemlis Tropical is totally gonna seal this off. So, uh, there it is. All right, that's done, and that looks good.
the only thing we have to do is really just seal that with some caulking from the inside so that air doesn't come through those little cracks and it's done it's just done because this, this that's never going to be an issue of water unless we're like in a lake and then we have bigger problems let me switch it to underwater mode that's right oh you know what let's pull this little piece of shield over here what do you think okay Okay. It wasn't grounded. Mm. Okay. Oh my god. Please help me weld. <laughs> That's all I have to do because that's pretty, pretty horrible. watching Shanghai Nights. It looks like you're putting a tourniquet on our door. I need you to pee on this. <laughs> Jackie Chan said you have to pee on it for it to work. Don't waste my time with stuff like that, okay? A 2,000 year old civilization, that's all you can come up with? Shame on you, shame on you. This might be too hard for this. Uh, what's moving it already? <laughs> I gotta make it so I can lock it in place. Yeah, how are you gonna manage that? Magic? Magic Mike? Not like that. <laughs> Let's measure. That's 14 and 5 eighths and 14 and 5 eighths. Well, that's centered. That's it. This is some super high-tech Mike Giver stuff. Screwdriver and a piece of rope. Highly technical. That was kind of cool, huh? Screwdriver mission successful. That was a good one. Ancient Chinese secret. First time anybody's seen me in full PPE here. Woo! Now that we've done this measurement, let me see something here. 14 and 5 eighths is the mark I made. Okay, big loud noises. So, when they built the bus, for the, to hold the glass in, they had these tracks that run along here, and they actually screw in here and hold the glass in. But at the bottom, way down here, they just had these uh, rubber bumpers 
like this sitting in, and the glass sat on top of it and there wasn't anything to prevent water from getting in here and we noticed right away when we got in the bus that um, even with the door closed when it would rain water would pool down here on the floor and I can only imagine that's from the way they did this and I really don't know of any other way to prevent that from happening but what I am going to do up here is I'm going to weld these in place but I'm just going to put a couple a couple little welds here or maybe one here so if water does get behind this even after we put caulking at the very bottom we won't need caulking on the sides but we'll have to put caulking here that if water does get behind this it'll drain out of here instead of going inside so that's what we're trying to do so that's what we're going to do <laughs> it looks like hell, but I also need it to cool down a lot so that the bondo adheres and doesn't catch on fire. Well, in about 12 hours. <laughs> Should be nice and cool. Hopefully my bondo work does a good enough job on this to cover. Alcohol, they got it poison to you so you can't drink it. Literally what that is. better. the whole thing. That's crazy. Ooh. Flaming rag? Denatured alcohol rag. <laughs> nice like burning out there? Yeah. in this way, not that way though. Just against the wall. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Okay. Okay, let go. Let that's go. All the way up. Okay. Shit. Feed this under the door and through a window. Okay, you got I it. I got it. Okay. You got it now? This just uh, is called glazing compound, and it just, uh, you see when I scraped off, see all the little dots? Those are low spots, that are little bubbles, pinholes, and stuff like that in the Bondo that, uh, you know, the Bondo just didn't get to. And so I'm just kind of adding it in here. 
It's not going to be perfect, but, and I know this. I'm no body guy. It always looks worse before it starts looking better. That's for sure. <laughs> I try to wipe it off every once in a while. So this is self-etching primer. And the reason you use this is to get in the metal. It sticks to metal better, it, uh, better penetration, and then uh, your paint will stick to this better. So you try to hit all the metal with this stuff. You don't have to use this, but it's better. Pants are falling off. God, they are. There's a couple of screws there. Give away that. You have a screwdriver out here with it. Okay. Oh, hello! Big test. We're not done yet. Well, baby, I know one thing for sure. What's that? Hunter Green is not the color we'll be painting our bus. I think not. Definitely not. All right. Let's make our cut here. glass on one side is able to bend while one snaps. Yeah. And then you do it the other way. You need to tap it and run it or? Oh, it guess is. not. Just need a knife now. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. But the key to making this work well would be to line up to make sure we line up our uh, screw holes here. Okay. We can cut it on this saw. You wouldn't make a habit of cutting a lot, but you can cut a little trim like this. It's loud though. But it's no, not loud okay. when it's not plugging in at all. I think what I need is some of that uh, that grease, the, the spray can. Uh, yeah, let me see if I can. All right, that should let the rubber slide on a lot easier. what not to do when installing your school bus glass. There go. <sighs> A little crack right there. That sucks. Oh, it came from that chip right there. From the outside? It's not very noticeable. It's always a scary moment making a huge cut on your huge pane of glass. Tap it. Did it already break? Yeah. Oh, I didn't even hear it.
Yeah, it totally broke by itself, didn't it? Oh, 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 you can't. Damn it. There. Once you start it, then it will rip. Especially that one. Yeah, and that's the one that still needs to be used. I'm broken. <laughs> not. Totally not. Not today. Yeah, not that. Okay. Just that vibration. Ah, I've got a nice clean straight break though, huh? Yeah, I'm telling you, I think that might be one of the secrets. You're going to have to help it in down there. Put it in the bottom. Mm -hmm. 